case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1975, the Court of Special Appeals of Maryland heard the case of State v. DeLauder, which centered on an accused person's right to confront witnesses against them during a criminal trial. Lee Franklin DeLauder had been convicted of statutory rape and sentenced to 15 years in prison. However, DeLauder claimed that his constitutional right to cross-examine witnesses was violated during the trial. The state argued that the court had limited the introduction of evidence about the victim's behavior, which hindered the defense's ability to present their theory of bias and ulterior motives. The court needed to determine if the decision in the case of Davis had an impact on the legitimacy of DeLauder's conviction. Ultimately, the hearing court ruled that DeLauder's right to cross-examination was violated and the judgment was vacated. DeLauder was granted a new trial and the state appealed the decision. The Court of Special Appeals affirmed the hearing court's ruling, finding that the defense's right to effective cross-examination had been denied, thus violating DeLauder's constitutional right. The order of the Circuit Court for Montgomery County was upheld, and Montgomery County was ordered to pay the costs. The court did not consider allegations of trial counsel incompetency and perjured testimony, as DeLauder had not sought permission to appeal their denial. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.